Hello, welcome to Chaotic Calling Streaming, where we hope to have a good session today. We'll see. <laughs> uh, we will be getting a new service soon, so hopefully the internet connection will be spot on then. But for now, we will try to get through what we got. Tonight is Elsperia Trails to the Pass, and joining me today are Christopher. Uh... I'm going to have to figure out how to correct all of this at the, at the end. Bronk. Good evening. Then we also have... Arthur. There's the biggest box of tinder right there. <laughs> and then we have Jack. Time to mess with the cool balls a bit. Then we have Vol. Man, it's been a long time since I had to act hoity-toity. <laughs> it's been a long time since you've been able to say this right at the beginning of the stream, too. So, leaving Eltara, making her way to the pirate-occupied city of Farson, you have made some discoveries, done some scouting, started to fit in, some of you. I think Jack, using his disguise, managed to fool a lot of people and managed to go on guard duty where... Shella's being kept with prod and the kobolds are making these weird gemstones uh, Jack curious of course we'll find out more hopefully whenever he's able to procure one but for now I believe the group has you know pretty much how should we say it? Christopher sported the name of the Don family once more and has uh, taken everybody under his wing as he uh, made his way through the club early in the day just to get a quick retrospect of what this place is about where jack also got to meet with professor elisophagus and also found kenan oh yeah they got a hello prompt sorry about that buddy <laughs> yeah your net crack uh and basically for most of the session it's been a lot of theory crafting right like we waited for jack to get done with his shift and later in that evening, they let him go, and uh, Kenan gave him a quick hello. Like, I know you're around here, but doesn't know that it's Jack. And I believe Jack was able to reconvene with the group, and we were getting ready to execute a night plan at about 6 in the evening. Is that correct? Did I miss anything important? I think that's I think. Okay, cool. I'm starting to wonder if I crash there for a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, we are playing Stream Raiders as well, so feel free to catch up on that. Chaotic Calling as your Stream Raider captain. All right, then let's get into it. So we're currently at the tavern, every one of us, right? Or am I mistaken? Like, where was Jack heading? Jack was heading towards the tavern mm -hmm. to regroup with everyone. All right, so that's where we're going to start. So we're in the tavern. The evening plans are being presented, so maybe to recap what you guys want to do, uh, we'll go ahead and just say, you see Jack enter, and you guys are able to start talking about what you want to do for the evening in full, so that you know how you want to execute it, and so that I know what I have to have on my end for you guys to execute the plan. So how do you want to do this? Jack would go in uh, and just kind of take a seat close enough to where the others are, where it doesn't really look like he's mingling with them. Um, maybe like a couple seats down and having, tries trying to give off a vibe of like, wow, today's been a shitty work day. Like he got one of the crappier jobs <laughs> while kind of looking around to see if everyone is there and where mm -hmm. they're sitting. Right. Well, where's everybody sitting? Well, like, what are you guys doing? Uh, da, da. I imagine that we would have initially uh, been at a table together. Mm-hmm. Although I think uh, 
uh, Christopher probably putting his his own uh, own thoughts together. If we we'll just say to this, uh, if you, so I believe that we should all uh, come to our rooms to freshen up before we leave for the evening. So basically, like getting everybody to a room. Yeah, it's just, like, I... in, a, in a subtle way to them specifically, but then kind of saying it a little louder. <laughs> <laughs> How awkward can we make because, this? For because because Jack is stuff? being very obstinate about his cover story. <laughs> yeah. Kronk will uh, take a sniff of his uh, pit. Are you are you snuffing up? <laughs> I mean, I could spice myself up by putting my you know uniform on that I've got repaired. Hmm. Well, tonight president presentability is important, regardless of what happens. Then I'll put it on. It'll be a nice. Reminiscing time, if I would say so. Jack is gonna kind of get up and head over to the table and still hang into the cover, just kind of wrap one of his arms around Christopher's like, Don't I know you from somewhere? I can't, no, I can't put it on the tip of my tongue. Um, Oh, I know, you were the lot. That we're getting laughed at at the gate, won't you? But, uh, you know what? I do recall somebody following us for several hours, like some sort of estranged homeless man. Don't know if I ever saw a homeless man, but I was following you for a while. I even hitched a ride in your carriage. Not that you noticed, but. Thanks for the lift. You were sitting right beside me. Kind <laughs> <laughs> of hard to not notice, right? <laughs> and the tavern keepers like staring at all of you, like, "What in the heck is wrong with this lot?" Yeah, Jack is gonna give that like a kind of very visible, confused look. It's like, I think your total friend's a little off. Excuse me, weirdos. And he's going to start heading towards one of the rooms. Like, towards wherever the rooms are and wait for mm -hmm. the group. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Damn, Kronk. Punish him. Punish him hard. <laughs> Kronk yeah. ain't no liar. No, no, I love it. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and the barkeep is just kind of like staring at this whole thing as he's helping out other patrons just kind of like ah uh, this group is weird as well or at least that one guy is right i mean if you remember correctly i did give him a lot of biz <laughs> are you sure i think that was the uh item shop wasn't it nope i it? why would you give we uh did multiple people oh i mean that's fair yeah Probably did. All right, never mind. No, you're right. Uh, what am I looking uh, what, for? What were you thinking of before that man distracted us? Right, returning <laughs> to our rooms to freshen up before we leave. <sighs> as Christopher just starts getting up from the chair and walking to a room. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll follow. Croc will follow. Aww. And Arthur in the form of Paulina follows. Oh, yeah, thank you for reminding me you're in Paulina form. Nice. Great. This is gonna be great. Okay, so look, as you're if, making you look if uh, if Christopher is gonna play the straight man, he might as well ha have a thirteen out of ten. Uh, yeah, yeah, game, you, you know? should, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She was first prize or first place, right? <laughs> At any rate, uh, yeah. As you turn the corner, you could see Jack's vision of whoever he's playing as. Uh, at leaning up against the wall, probably waiting for you. Christopher just gives deep sigh and opens the door to his room. <laughs> 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 then Jack is gonna slip in before anyone else can spot him. 
Okay. And then the rest of you pile in as well, right? Right. All right. Of course. You, have a, you are all crowded into a small room. Big enough for two beds and a little end table. But, you know, you can all manage to get in here. All right, boss, what's the plan? When do I get to blow shit up? Here. Indeed, patience. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Can I have the stick now? <laughs> Reaches out for the wand. Come on, come on, boss. You know I can hold it. Oh, I'm very certain you can hold it. <laughs> mm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> is just going to look out to the group. I'm going to preface this by saying, depending on how things go tonight, we may be making a significant financial investment in order to repair this town. Well, I mean, it's going to be more on Azeroth than anything. I mean, we're going to be hurting them more than the town, right? I mean, running the fields is pretty detrimental to a town, Jack. I can't oh. wait, boss. <laughs> uh, I thought you were gonna... might, I don't know, burn their ships? Uh, my ultimate goal is to not only cause stir, but also divert their attentions. Just as well, Tazra seems to be at least has somewhat invested in the resources of this town. Which is why, at the very least, having two points of two points of distraction might do be to our benefit. So, and he's going to like very uh, like I Dorian. Mm -hmm. So yeah, first you... step. Oh, I love steps, boss. What do you got? <laughs> so once I could give Dorian the signal, more than yeah. likely while we're already at the club. Yeah, he's got grabby hands out but... right now. Dorian will set the first fireball into the, uh, set the first fireball into the fields. Yes, yes. All right. And yeah, then, yeah. And then Dorian, yes. you'll wait. Huh? Okay. Yeah, I can wait. Now, mm -hmm. if it happens that uh, you should see uh, more gods, and this is important, Tazareth gods, the most mem the more members of Tazareth, the better. Right. If they all start making their way to the fields. Uh-huh. Set a second fireball into the fields. Then, afterward, you will move yourself off to the ships. And especially if any ships are particularly docked, I would like for you to start targeting those. All right, boss, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, yeah, I mean, ships under fire. that That's definitely a good plan, boss. I like it. Now, of course, I can't really predict how many ships will be docked at the time. But once all of those have been targeted at least once, if there are any charges of the... Uh, of the wand remaining, if there seem to be any ships moving their way toward... Uh, toward the shore or toward the docks in order to assist in whatever is occurring then proceed to target those oh boy boy this is going to be fun now hopefully this should cause enough of a, dis a distraction as well as a diversion of resources mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. they will not be spending as much attention on the on where they are keeping the kobolds which should be opportune for uh, and he's going to uh, look at uh, air quote Jack. <laughs> uh, and as well, but like kind of like leaving it open to the others, where some of us, a, a collection of us, would be able to start making our way over to where the kobolds are being kept in order to not only relieve them, but also anyone who happens to be in the building. Now, I won't say that there won't be necessarily be guards already there, so, but hopefully with the distractions, the, their security will be much lighter due to the diversion of resources. And then, hopefully, during the confusion, 
but uh, some of our number, notably Arthur, like looks over to Arthur, to, uh, might be able to slip out in the confusion in order to offer assistance. That's a and nice as, plan and all. And uh, as Jack will have pointed out, and he's not finished, yeah. <laughs> because I know you're going to bring this up, there is more than a, there is more likely possibility that, but not a certainty, that uh, Kenan will be in the same building as ourselves and may be able to warn of our particular presence. However, we those of us remaining in the building should be able to keep ourselves guarded and even make our own escape, regardless of what happens. But the ultimate goal of this is to create several points of diversion and confusion so that the kobolds can be extracted. Now, does anyone have any questions or comments? Considering what they've been doing in that little building, I wouldn't be surprised if they tighten security around there. They got two outside, there's a catwalk above the main work area with crossbows, ready to just, they look trigger happy. They're probably going to start shooting as soon as any workers start moving in ways they're not supposed to. And that doesn't even count for the other 15 or so that are elsewhere in the building. Now, if they all stay there, with or without Kenan, that's 15 to 20 guards. If they bring more in there, or Kenan goes there, that's more trouble. But I think we should at least be ready for it. Well, honestly, the Tazareth would be very stupid if they allowed for their other resources to literally burn right in front of them. So that's the gamble we're taking. But just as well, if there are more guards regardless, then that is why uh, you yourself, as well as Arthur, which should be more than capable of dispatching them with your abilities. Or am I overestimating you? <laughs> It's not about overestimating us. It's about underestimating them. Oh, Plus, there is I'll the chance have of... to have somebody else help you, since you're not smart enough, powerful enough. Got it, <laughs> Christopher? Yeah, boss. I can't go two making... places at once. <laughs> Christopher, listen, I'm serious right now. They are making, and I'm serious as well. Streaming. Let me I finish. need you. I, I let I you finish. You need to let me finish. I'm streaming. Here's what they're doing with the cobalts. They're infusing crystals with magic. Possibly volatile crystals. We don't know where they're being kept. If they're being kept in the factory, I would like to take one or two look at them later. But that also presents an opportunity if they are in the building. If we can get the kobolds out, I could send a fireball towards those crystals and blow the shit out of that factory. If those crystals are in a good spot to be blown up. If they're being kept somewhere else, say one of the other ships, well, hopefully it's one of the other ships, so it'll be enough of a boom to take all their attention away. So, well, provided that Shella has been allowed to to rest and has not been impeded in any way, then she should be <laughs> able to assist in that regard. Yeah, has she been impeded at all, I wonder? I don't think she has. Oh, I can't wait Maybe. to see what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> that does bring up one fair point if she hasn't been impeded. Who is to say she hasn't tried to make an escape of her own yet? Uh, I can tell you right now, she hasn't. She oh, she kept bragging. It's like, oh, I I need a I need a sleepy time, and then you'll be in trouble. And none of the kobolds ever attempted to break down the door. Nothing like even when the guards came in, they just stood to the side and did they nothing. They did once, didn't they? <laughs> Not that Jack knows of. I don't think. Uh, like they yeah, beat on I, the door when he taunted them, but. Yeah, 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 that's them trying to break their way out, but they couldn't. But yeah, that's fair. 
I mean, I think they, they tried to beat on the door to get out. But, I mean, I was kind of taunting them a little bit. I mean, I was having fun. And, um... Eight hours guarding a door. I gotta entertain myself somehow. But, I mean, they went back to work just fine. And she slept a lot. She was loud. So, who's... Back to my same thing. Who's to say she hasn't tried to escape already? She can be incredibly crafty when she needs to be. And don't forget, she nearly killed me. But also remember that some of her more powerful abilities may require a focus. Which reminds me, looks to the group, so would anyone have a spare focus for her so that she could possibly assist in the operation? At, 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 over the table, Kronk uses his shield, so... Oh, interesting. That's only vocal. It could be. It could literally be any wand or staff or rod. I'm mean, gonna the... hold up the wand of smiles. <laughs> I mean, that would work, right? Go I on. Do not know what it does, though. <laughs> Wave it at Christopher, I dare you. All of a sudden, you get very happy. <laughs> uh, that, that'd be Arthur, <laughs> I guess. So unless Arthur. I don't, I don't know if he can zap himself or not. <laughs> I mean, you could, like, right? Just you're looking at it and you're pointing it at yourself. Go ahead, and make your own save if you want. <laughs> it's like a DC ten, though, right? Oh, uh, it's, it's charisma, right? <laughs> it's a DC ten charisma saving throw. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't work. <laughs> You're like, huh. Hey, Kronk just shrugs. Yeah. You're too beautiful for this one. That's it. Well, that should function regardless. Would you would you mind if perhaps uh if Arthur or I suppose <laughs> in this case I suppose it could be Arthur or uh Jack could hold on to that to give to Shella, at least to huh. borrow. Huh. Yeah, I guess she would try to go after Arthur first, huh? <laughs> uh, Crunkle just offer it up to whoever grabs it. On second thought, that is a good point. Jack, please take the wand. <laughs> Alright, I'll take the wand. Do you want actually I can turn Arthur invisible before we go in? It'll be easier for him to sneak in. And I can cast C invisibility so I can keep track of him at all times. No, you I can't. <laughs> Why not? Aren't they both concentrations? Nope. No. Oh, really? Only invisibility. Only invisibility is a duration. Just curious. All right. I mean, I don't see that every day. Yeah. Quite literally. All right, nice. Although, as a although as a reminder, uh, it just allows for the possibility of seeing invisible things. If Arthur stealths too hard, uh, then you lose track of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So yeah. You guys about done fleshing out your plan? You ready to initiate, or what, what are we doing? So does anyone have any other comments or concerns or additions? Oh, uh, two things. One, once we get the kobolds, head back to the stables and get the hell out of Dodge. Sounds like a good plan. Get back... Hmm. Yeah, I... sounds like the best place to go. Yeah, I do kind of want to kill Kenan. I mean, he, um, he's got to be on to me. He met up with me before I, I came to the bar, and, like, he touched my shoulder, and he seemed like he didn't notice, but he's, he's a perceptive bastard. Yeah. Hmm. In that, in that case, Arthur is going to quickly put his ear to the door, make sure nobody's trying to listen in. Yeah, go ahead and make a perception. I will go ahead and buy myself a sandwich. <laughs> okay. So this, this like Arthur puts his ear to the door. Nope, can't hear a thing. <laughs> well, let's see if you hear something now, huh? Would uh, okay. Let's see how. Me rolling. Number two. But 10 I guess again. that's when we find out that the the rooms are actually soundproof. Sixteen. I mean, you can hear. 
You can hear creaking of people walking by, but nobody seeming to stop at your door. Um, they're definitely like slow paces, but you kind of like figure that might be just the way people are in a mood, right? Like they don't want to get somewhere fast. So you just hear like creaking of boards, but nobody seeming to stop to pay attention to your uh, door. As far as like, um, I mean, how would you even know if somebody was sitting there listening to like, they're not making any noise either. Right. But, um, and as far as you can tell, nobody seems to be making any intrusive sounds that would indicate that you're being listened to. Right. Nobody at the door, right? You open the door, That's... Shella falls in. No. <laughs> there is one thing I should mention, though. Jack, you still have that smoke bomb, right? Yep. Use that while having people escape, you know? They'll have a harder time hitting targets they can't see. Yeah, I'll use it if need be. I mean, I'm probably going to be fighting a bunch in there. Although I suppose there is one more point of order that is does need to be considered. Because uh, it certainly has been brought up in this moment. But if we are making... So if the current plan is presently for escape, so that is the present intention, correct? Yeah, you know what? If all goes well, and y'all can get to the stables, and if I can get a good-sized coach out of this bag, I could provide another distraction if need be. And he just pulls out the wanted poster. Mm, and I, I can still breathe underwater for a good, what, 16 hours? I can close. just... It's getting close to 7 p.m., by the way. I just just... Said we may need to we may need to slightly alter our our plans if if uh, it seems as though because there is a sort of a coin flip as to whether Tazarath will fight for their stance or attempt to make an escape themselves. As long as I can get them away from the lot of you, if it looks like they'll, you know, stick at the gates and block the way out, I'll just make myself known. Hey, assholes, look what I did to your shitty operations. And then can I get a perception check from everybody but Arthur? Okay. As it is starting to get later in the evening, Jack. Arthur, I'm going with your previous perception check, figuring it's still the same. Because uh, you're still okay. yeah, you're still listening. But that's still a good perception. So I'm looking for at least a 16 or better. Alright, there you go. So, Jack, Arthur, you hear a soft thudding bang from afar. And everybody else just seems to be talking over each other. And I if do I recognize the sound uh, of like what it might be? What do you think it might be? Like uh, soft, let's see here. A oh, soft oh. bang from afar. How far do you think? How far would it be? Do you think? Oh, kind of uh, like towards the docks. Like it's definitely coming from the westernly direction. As he kind of just stops for a second. Did anyone else hear that? I did. Uh, and Jack is going to look. Is Dorian still in the room? Yeah, he hasn't gone anywhere. He's like, what? <laughs> it wasn't me. Okay. Uh, he might have a problem. Might be a concern. A little louder this time for everybody else to catch on to. Dorian, would you, as, would you mind doing this as a favor to a friend? Uh, Just go boss. check see who it is. Should I go check? Uh, that we might need this information, Dorian. Uh, please. Yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely, boss. And he'll fly out a nearby window and kind of like scope up above. 
And uh, he goes away for a little bit. And you just wait patiently, or do you have anything else to say before he comes back? Or do you want to just check in directly? Up to you. What do you want to do here? All right. Depending on what might just happened, we may have to scrap the plan. <laughs> scrap the plan, cause mayhem, rescue kobolds, kill Ken, and get the fuck out of Dodge. All right. So he comes back down. He's like, hey, boss. <laughs> Part of your plan's already been executed. <laughs> There's like a boat that's on fire at the docks. And back, Sashella? Uh, I couldn't really... You know, give me a perception check as Dorian. He's been rolling like shit on wisdom whenever I tried, so maybe it'll work better for you. And then here's me forgetting to open his sheet again. Eh, it's okay, boss. You don't need to open me up if you don't want to. I'll, I'll... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, much better. You know, now that you mention it, I think I did see a couple cobalts by the dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think one of them might have been Shella. There was like a red glowing orb in her hand when she did it, too. It was kind of cool. You know what, boss? I'm going to go... You want me to go... You want me to go talk to her real quick? <laughs> you know what? You might as well. And then Christopher's going to look like, well, it looks like uh, Shella's already busted herself out. <laughs> Yeah, seems like she's got an arcane focus, too. Whee! And he flies out the window and starts making his way to where she is. What you are know, you guys doing? I, I think I could use this as a means to get back into the factory and find out if the other kobolds are there and if those crystals are there. And if they are, I'm going to blow up the factory. Toss a few coaches in there and let them mess with the guards a bit. Try to attract attention if need be. All right, so what are we doing, guys? There is action on the field already. Oh, well, everyone, I suppose just... Uh, I suppose no need to stop partying, as it were. Uh, <laughs> as Christopher just, like, uh, like just starts getting more together of his uh <clears throat> just like more battle ready stuff instead of party stuff <laughs> right right okay yeah i'm just gonna head to the factory yeah see ya and jack uh unless he is stopped by someone will walk out of the room and start heading towards the factory building oh, we'll Arthur. Grab you by the shoulder He's like, <laughs> take arthur with you he'd help you unlock doors as arthur was already getting ready to go with yeah I was about to say, wasn't that part of your plan? Boy, you guys are great at planning, by the way. <laughs> our our plans are great. They just don't work. Well, you know, if it takes too long, <laughs> eventually something else happens, I would, too. I would, I would like to point out that a plan doesn't fail when you don't get to execute it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, to be fair, half of it's still being executed, so it's not total failure. <laughs> Never survived contact with Shell. Probably. Yeah, somebody forgot to mention this plan to her. Alright, so Jack and Arthur are running to the factory. What's everybody else doing? I'll follow Christopher. And so will Kronk. Where are we going? Oh, sorry, Kronk. Yeah, it's that Kronk's planning to go check on Shell. Oh, you're going to go to... Okay, no, that's fair. And what are, what are we doing, Christopher? So, right. Uh, basically, uh, Christopher is going to start heading outside, but he is going to delay slightly until he hears back from Dorian. Because he does want to know a little bit more before he starts uh, shifting many, the original how many, plan. How many charges are on that one, by the way? Uh, wands of Fireballs come with seven. Seven? And every time he... Like, it takes, what, three initial? And then you can upscale it from there. Is that nope. right? Oh, well, just nope. one. Nope, it is one charge for one casting. Nice. Level three it, fireball. And then each charge added to it adds a makes it a higher spell cast, right? That is correct, but that is oh. the least efficient way to use it. <laughs> oh no no no! I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I'm just. I, that's a public PSA for all of you out there. If you ever get access to the fireball spell or the wand of fireballs, 
uh, upcasting a fireball is not your best option. Mm -hmm. Just PSA. <laughs> right. From your from your concerned uh, player who likes casting spells. <laughs> so I think Dorian gets back to you and says, "Oh, hey, boss. Uh, looks like Shella and this one guy is like uh, engaged with a couple of Tazareth pirates. Uh, she's currently kiting them down an alleyway, though." Well, all right, let's uh, let's just make hell for the Tazareth instead, as Christopher is going to uh, now put the wand in Dorian's hands. Have fun blowing up the ships. Don't bother with the farms. <laughs> oh, sure, boss. <laughs> and off, yep. Yeah. Off he goes to go blow up some ships. <laughs> Will he really? No, don't, don't get me wrong. This wand is going to be used up by the time he gets back, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah this wand is going to be completely used up so yeah all right i'll get all that being played out in the back of my head so don't worry about it we're not going to make a bunch of rolls for it i already got this whole mapped out so we got we know what's going to happen over there at least i do so what about the rest of you so Kronk, you're going down to check on shella right yes you know what we need to, we need to step up our music game right i think we're we're in a epic battle now so yeah you could see two of these pirates who are like wounded and bruised and burned and just trying to catch their breath as you're approaching they have no idea what you're about so they're not even paying attention to you and they, as they catch their breath they start running down this alleyway chasing after shella what yeah to be fair Kronk even know Shella's down that way? I mean, they're chasing after somebody. It's pro I mean, considering... I don't know. How much do you care about Shella? That's 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 the new question, right? Like, do you assume that's who they're chasing? Because you were told she's in this direction, right? Uh, I mean, Kronk cares about everyone I, almost I think, the I same, think you, but... I think, I think you would know that it... Okay, so let's put it this way. These guys have been scorched to hell. Like, yes, that could have been Dorian, but this is also a trademark of Shella as well. Well, that, that, that's the thing. I, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if Kronk would know if they're running after her or away from her. Here, let me help you. Stay away, you stupid bastards! You hear from the alleyway. Does that help? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So then Kronk would follow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. We got the solution. <clears throat> I'll burn you all! This is for not letting me out, you fuckers! <clears throat> and another fireball lights up on them. And they pass out. Uh, and as you turn down the alleyway, you can see a frantic Shella who's got like this gemstone that is glowing with flames around it, floating in the air in her palm. And this other, <laughs> other Kobo that has like a weird looking cage on his back. Uh, beehives, nests, and stuff. All kinds of random materials that he seemed to just gather together as quickly as possible. Croc, is that you? Shella, you should get out of here. I thought I'd never see you guys again. But look who I found! And she points to the Kobo, and it's Prod. You might have seen him once. No, I don't think we've met him yet. Uh, you met him at the Clutch. He okay, died yeah. profusely, yeah, we, and we, her we magic healed him. him. Yeah, yeah. Just briefly. <clears throat> yeah, like he got completely crushed, and then she kissed him back to life. <laughs> My kisses have powers. Anyway, I am in full destruction mode. We need to get out of here, Kronk. Christopher, back that way. And you hear the cackle of Dorian as he's firing off that magic fire wads at these ships. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and you're pulling her back towards you then, right? Yes. Croc has reunited with Shella, but he has split from the rest of the party. Jack, Arthur, you have split from the rest of the party. You're on your own little mission. You rush to the factory. What are we doing? I'm going to kind of take Arthur kind of to the side away from the front door. I'm going to quickly cast Sea Invisibility on myself and then Invisibility on Arthur. 
Okay, I think I'm just going to turn off dynamic lighting because it seems annoying right now. So let me find that real quick so everybody can just see. That's what I want. And I'm not going to worry about what you can and can't see. How's that? Let's start here. So Arthur and Jack, you start there. And are there uh, guards still outside? Not outside, no. It seems like they have moved away from the outdoors. I was going to whisper to Arthur. I was like, okay, I can still see you. I'll lead you to where the kobolds were being kept. With any oh, luck, the stuff is in there. Okay. Let's do it. And I will, we can quickly check shit out to see if there are any valuables in here. Try to get people out blow it to shit. I'll find a good place to let the coaches run rampant. Alright, the door is locked, by the way. I'm gonna do, like, a... take a guarding sort of stance, like, with my back to the door. Mm -hmm. Like, hands on hips. And I'm gonna let Arthur do his thing. Alright, Arthur, you're up. Ah, my specialty. As uh, he's going to walk forward and pick this thing out. Let's see what you got. Oh, nice. My two? Yeah, you I managed to not... find. Yep. <clears throat> that, that, give that's me an right. You know what? Give me an investigation, too. I think I need to remind you how rogues work. <laughs> that's major. Yeah. Okay. So, let me just put it this way. As you kind of, like, investigate the door, you notice that there are some traps to this door to keep people from leaving and from people from entering if they mess with the locks. So, I'll take your first thieves tool to disarm the trap. How's that sound? As he kind of begins to pick the lock, he's like, ah, yes. And then no, he no. just kind of disables whatever mechanism. It's, you know, no worries. Like, definitely not going to throw this trap at you if you, you know, go ahead and make another tool check to unlock the door and we'll get you in there yeah 19 just enough to get this thing freed and you hear a collapsing of locks just kind of like shedding backwards and the door itself seems to pry open for just a moment I mean it's open if you need to go in now yep yeah. as he's gonna quickly just pat Jack on the back let's move all right I'm gonna move in after him and then kind of just make the door look closed mm -hmm. to anyone that gives it a glance. Right. So just enough so that it does not, like, click. Do you want to do your thing before we get too far in, or what? Yeah, I'm going to create a, um, a force ballista, tiny, and I'm going to place it, like, on my shoulder. That's part one. What's part two? Part one. Part two... All right, uh, time for a coach. I'm gonna take out the fuzzball and toss it on the ground. You know you can cast multiples, right? You can just burn it and yeah. go. All right, so go ahead and I'm, roll. I'm gonna see and... what comes up first. Yeah, what, uh, what do we got? I guess I should actually pick that up. Let's see, tan that is a baboon, which I should have the thing for. Here he is. <laughs> right, can... There's one I'll toss out, and the other two. Might as well. Go for it. Two and a four. Two and a four. That'll be an ape and axe beak, which I should have should both have of. the axe beak. Uh, do you have yeah. the ape? Uh, well, we got, we I got do. two primates. Yep. We, do, we do have two primates on the field now. Yeah. Nice. And I was going to look to the, the three coaches, and I'm going to look to Arthur and say, oh, this is going to be fun. Hey, coaches, buddies, there's a bunch of pirates in here. Fuck them up. Okay, so off they go, right? <laughs> All right. What's the next step here? Are you just waiting for them to get in trouble? Uh, I'm sending them in first. I'm just going to tell Arthur to... 
Um, I'm going to basically tell them the directions to get to the back where the kobolds were being kept. It's like, all right, there's a back, there's a locked door back there. There might be crystals in there or more kobolds. I might as well keep these guys busy. If I see them starting to get too on guard, I'll, I'll, I can funnel them here. And I'm going to just move up over kind of here against the wall. Don't worry, I'm just playing it out real quick. I'll, yeah. I'll explain what happened here. Like, I know you're like, oh, mechanics, mechanics. But just keep in mind, it's not always about mechanics. But the other of what happens, right? All right. So as you're kind of like letting the coaches run in, the axe beak just starts screeching out loudly. And apparently he gets picked off pretty quick as two arrows shoot down, take him out. And then that ape starts to climb up on one side and gets halfway up before another one shoots it out of the air. But your baboon manages to scrape up there and he is currently engaged with one of them as you kind of like make your way in here. What in the hell is this shit? Who sent in these apes and baboons and what the hell is that thing? Wait, where the hell did it go? Yeah, cause they are, they disappear, right? We're under attack, quick! And there's like an alert. All right, all right, they're all keeping busy here. Go for it. And I guess I would just kind of pop out and then shoot a firebolt. I mean, I'm guessing, are these guys up high on the catwalks? Yeah, the, these are catwalks that they're on. So yeah, they are about 20 feet up in the air. All right, uh, I'll... Two for Tazareth four with a firebolt for my action. Let's see. All right, go for it. Uh, we'll do initiative after Jack because I kind of feel like he was in the background and they weren't paying attention. Mm. And Part then after, 19 to hit. And Arthur, if you want to rush in with your movement, you can. Uh, 19 is enough to hit, yes. And firebolt plus arcane firearm, uh, seven fire damage. All right. Would have been able to fire off the force ballista him too. Yep, that hits. Seven force damage, and he's pushed five feet back. Yeah. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. All right. If yeah, possible. We'll do this. Yeah, yeah. Just... He's still kind of like on that catwalk, but he's definitely like beating up against that railing, and he feels his back pierce into it, and he's like, "Oh shit!" and trying to realign the shot. All right, and that ends your turn for now. And then I'm just gonna yell. I'm just gonna oh. yell. Come get me, fuckers! And then kind of step back. Wasn't that the new hire? Kill him! <laughs> and yes, you can include Dash Arthur. Like, go ahead and take a full round of combat if you would. Okay, moving at 15 feet per movement just to keep up stealth. All right, so that you know that, yeah, the, there's, like, people here who are hurriedly trying to get behind this location. Uh, I'm just not going to put a bunch of tokens in our way. It's the problem. So, like, there are bystanders. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'll put just a couple of tokens, but just keep in mind it's a group of them, not just one. So, like, there's a group over here and there's a group over here. Uh, both sides of the assembly line are trying to get into crouching positions to not get hit. Uh, Alright, and that ends your turn. I need everybody to go ahead and roll initiative in this vicinity. And I'll go ahead and get your monkey for you. All right. All right. Where's this guy at? Is he even? Where is he? I don't even remember rolling for that guy. Where's he at? Uh, which one? You still got Shella and stuff on this page, do we? Eh? Uh, at the very bottom right. Yeah. There's oh, there a pirate there. All right. So he hears a noise. He's going to come back from that room. That's about all he can do for now. Alright, cool. There we go. Uh, number six will shoot at Jack, right? Uh, 
All right, there's too much white. Where are, where are, where, okay, there it is. Uh, 15 and a 23. Uh, the 23 will hit. Uh, just 10 points. Okay. Goodbye, temporary hit points. Uh, it doesn't have view on you until he gets there, yeah. <clears throat> 28. Oh, yeah. Which it's yeah. 9 piercing. And then you're up, Jack. Okay. Change that. Okay, so then. What can I get to see? I will move out five feet and shoot at Tazareth Pirate 4 again. Go for it. Another. Another Firebolt, where are you? Yeah, that was it. Uh, nice. See, yeah, yeah he, he is singed pretty bad, but he's still standing. What else you well, got? Well, the arcane fire um, included. Yep. That makes it 24 total. Nice, nice. He's looking and rough. Force Ballista. Yeah. yeah, that hits. 15 force damage. And roll me 2d6 as he falls off the banister. Another 5 damage. With that, he kind of like comps out unconscious on the ground. All right. Then I'm going to move. Let's see. 5, 10. I'm going to move back here, try to get out of sight, and draw them to me. All right. Sounds good. And is that, that in your turn? turn? Yep. Yeah, that guy just fell over unconscious. Arthur, you're up. Does Arthur sure. even know where he's going? <laughs> yeah, he was told directions. Oh, was he? Okay, yeah. Go uh, and all my actions going towards dash. Only moving up 45 feet, though. Just to I keep mean, up uh, stealth. I mean, you are invisible, too. I mean, this is fair. No, that's fine. And is that in your turn? Where do I start out? I think I'll take the full movement. Yeah, I would say with the heat of battle, they're not going to pay much attention to anybody invisible. Yeah. Hey, ready. He's going to run here. Actually, is this area in here blocking path? Uh, no, it's like a... I think it's like a pathway that you can... Like steps in a way, I guess. Okay. No, actually, I take that back. Yeah, uh, you probably wanted to run up here. I'm sorry. I'll let you adjust if you want. Like, here's the entrance way he would have pointed out for you, right? Yeah, yeah, that would have been like a 20-foot crawl up to... Yeah, there, there's no ladder here, but this here kind of like leads to the top floor where the catwalk entrances are. And also where he told you about Shella and them. Alright, is that in your turn? That is me. That is you, alright. Uh, this Tazareth pirate's gonna stab the monkey. And the monkey only has an AC of... <laughs> yeah, that monkey's dead. Oh, no, 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 that monkey has one HP. <laughs> no, no, he's dead, never mind. I'm sorry, that was his AC. <laughs> and then with that, he'll move out to the catwalk, trying to look over the railing, seeing his dead friend at the bottom. And then looks for the source of it. You! <laughs> Chink, 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 chink. Just kind of like walking on the catwalk looking for Jack. Poor baboon. And back to one. Why is it not moving to it? That's weird. Uh, give me a, um... Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, he's gonna... Okay, so here's the question. Do you dodge this guy coming down the stairs, or does he accidentally bump into you? Yeah, no, if he, if he sees somebody coming down, he's going to try and move out of the way as fast yeah, as possible. Yeah, 
Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think I'm going to make you make a check for that. So, yeah, this guy's going to use all of his dashing and movement and try to get to the bottom. So, this one here is on the bottom floor. I'll put, like, a dot on them if they're on the ground. Since most of them are in the air. Uh, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Has to walk the catwalk, right? I know it's kind of a, an invisible place, but, yeah. All right, so he's up there. Uh, does he have line of sight up there at you? He moves here. All right, so let me just check line of sight. This might actually give you a little bit of... Oh, no, no, that's... No, yeah, yeah, I think that's not good enough, is it? I'll give you plus two to your AC, Jack, for, like, partial cover. Does that sound good? Yeah, that's good. All right, fire away. Boom, I get a 14. Wow, I probably missed. <laughs> you need a 20 to hit me. Yeah, not doing it today, are we? Uh, okay, so this guy here just kind of like tink, 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 gets to here on the catwalk, and I think he's got perfect line of sight on you. Yeah. Yep, thank you. That'll work. And so this will be without cover, as he'll fire as well. Pew! 13. We're nope. not doing too well today. Jack, you're up. All right. Uh, latest guy to fire at me. This guy here, uh... Same process. Uh, nope, that's baboon character sheet. Yeah, go ahead and swing a baboon. <laughs> go ahead and fire a baboon at him. 17, 17 hit. actually hits. Hi. Nice. 12. What else you got? 12 plus arcane. So 14 total. Got it. And uh, force ballista. 12 is not enough to hit, unfortunately. All right. Anything else for your turn? Yeah, let's see, I'm gonna just kind of. Can I? As he's adjusting, Arthur, you can continue to move. Yeah, I'm gonna. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna stand there, try to make it harder for them to hit me. Sounds good. All right, Arthur, where are you heading? Uh, debating. That. While you're debating, I'll set up the next Stream Raiders. No, it's gonna result in the same amount. Of okay, uh, you know what? We'll take a. Take the. We'll take an action to dash. And do, can I do anything with my bonus action? I mean, you could have dashed with your bonus. I'm, I'm trying to think, is there something else I can do with my bonus? Um, well, let's let's paint the picture, right? Like, you're invisible. Nobody can really pay attention to you, as far as you can tell. As far as I can tell, too. And you just need to get there, right? Yeah. Yeah, at this point, I'm just going to use what I, my bonus action and dash up to the door. Mm-hmm. You so notice... I'm picking it yet. Oh, go ahead. You notice there's bird marks on the door handles. Would it be a free action to test the door? Yeah, sure. Just see if it opens. Yeah. It opens, kind of and inside you see a bunch of kobolds who are sitting there waiting. They're kind of like huddled up, but you don't see Shella or Prod. Huh, not even this Prod fellow is, but. Probably. Yeah. What was the number I gave you? Like, there was 15 or 10? I can't remember. I also know, like, the 20s. Yeah, I think there's, like, maybe 10 in here or so. 10 or 15, something like that. There's a good handful of them. But as you look at them, they're of different scale colors. Some are white, some are red, some are black. As you know what? Screw it. He's going to kind of start to speak out. Uh, sorry, I know you can't see me, but uh, is there a particular <gasps> reason you're waiting here with the door open? <laughs> it's a ghost! <laughs> give me, I don't know, give me a persuasion. Sorry, my Kovo logic is going crazy right now, so I want to make sure I react properly to your ghostly visage. Uh, 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few of them start going, ghost, ghost. No, wait, wait. Shella said that she'd be back to get us. Yeah, that must be her. Let's go. What? She sounds really different. And you are speaking in a feminine voice. Did, she, did her voice box get fixed? Wow. Let's go with her. 
Where you at, Shella? <laughs> they come screaming out there looking for you. Uh, no, I'm not sh Uh, okay, you know what, screw it. <laughs> How many of you can fight? They all look at each other like, nope. <laughs> oh, great. And that's my turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nameless wants to give somebody a bang during... Oh my goodness, shame on you, Nameless, but let's do it, right? So... Random, huh? One, two, three, four, five. I have five players here. Let's roll a D5, right? Like that's an actual... Do okay, Christopher, roll me a D10 and be prepared to be banged. Uh, da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Tan. Tan, that's delicious. Uh... Roll... <laughs> Roll with disadvantage, canceling all advantages. So, like, if you had something that gave you advantage, it's still going to be a disadvantage roll on your next roll. Okie doke. Not a problem. A Here we go. So, yeah. There we go, Nameless. You put a bane on somebody. How dare you? But thank you. Much appreciated. We are still using up them channel points. Give me, give me, give me, give me. All right. Crimson has been fed and Christopher has been bane. Let's continue the escapade. Jack, oh wait, no, where am I at? Okay, so Arthur finished his turn. He freed the kobolds. And these guys are trying their damnest to kind of like scoot up. See if he can get a better line on you. And I will give you plus two to AC on this one. And we'll try to shoot you in the head. But we miss. And then this guy kind of like clunk, clunk. Okay, so he's going to like move over where three is. No, he's probably going to have to go here. And we're going to give you that same bonus. As mm -hmm. you're kind of like in a very awkward position for them to aim at. I get a 20. Uh, I'm going to shield. <laughs> oh, no. It bounces off your shield as you burn your reaction to blow it up. Uh, let's get that bamboo out of here. And then Tazareth number one. I have to manually go to him because I didn't apparently didn't roll his initiative, right? He's on the ground. He's going to use his action to dash as they're like, there's somebody at the front door. You need to go get him. So this guy's going to chase you down. Uh, plus two to AC still there as I fire again. 22, uh, but you're well, at five. Cause I, yeah, well, so yeah. I'm 25 right now. Yeah, so we're not hitting you today, are we? Uh, this one here, yeah, I, I think that plus two, plus five is still going to be active. And they're all trying to shoot through that shell of yours. Gets a 10 on that attack. And then it's your turn, Jack, as your shield dissipates all right let's see i'm gonna check to see my line of sight can i see this one guy down here all right i i'm guessing i heard some yelling mm -hmm. you know somebody's on the floor coming after you You probably so hear move. footsteps and now feet. you can clearly see him on the ground the one with the dot is on the ground this how high up is the catwalk like 20 feet up 20 feet up yep that is a wonderful because I'm going to drop the disguise self with okay. a big shit eating grin. It's like, hey, Astils, looky here. You done It's the fucked guy up. who's on the wanted poster. And I what? say, you done fucked up. And I send a fireball around Ooh. here to hit all, all of them. Damn, son. Where'd you learn to do that? I wonder if my thing's going to work. All right, so I'm going to gather them up. Uh, go ahead and roll me that damage. I know it's a dexterity save. What's the DC? 17. 17. All right, go ahead. Roll the damage. Right. Uh, fireball. That's level 3. 30, so... uh, and with the arcane firearm, that's a total of 32 on a fail. Right. So I'll do a 32 points of damage here. And half damage on a save. Hey, it worked. Uh, almost worked. Oh, I got to apply the damage. So now... 32 applied damage to tokens with half damage on successful saving throws. Did it work? It did. Look at that. It's awesome. I love that thing. I need to use it more. So, yeah, your blast goes off, and a lot of them are, like, trying their damage to put the fire. Some of them are duck-tucking and rolling, trying to put themselves out. A few of them did manage to succeed and only took half damage, but for the most part, you got them all kind of singed. And anything uh, else for your turn? Bonus action. I'm going to force Ballista the guy on the bottom. Go for it. Just to be a dick. Hey, why not? Oh Natural my 20. Yeah. yeah, that hurts. That is what's 31 force damage. 
And with that, it kind of like hits him in the head. And he gets hit so hard that he falls backwards and just kind of like drops to the ground. And I'll just flip him off as I go back into the corner. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, that guy is pretty much done. Arthur, you're up. You got a group of kobolds on you. We'll use this one here. I don't here. think I'm Shella. Yeah, 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 yeah. No Shella, but just a bunch of kobolds. So I'll use this guy to represent the group. So give me to tell me none of you can fight. We could throw rocks. We could set traps. We could make things go boom if we have the right equipment. Go like that. As you know what, screw it. He has to lead kobolds. Mm -hmm. He's going to move 30 feet and he's just going to keep uh, like trying to make noise to just so they can try to follow, follow the ghost Shella. We must follow her. She's leading us out of here. Yeah, so they kind of like scurry along with you, and you can ah. smell you can smell a hint of flames in the air as some people have been singed earlier. God damn it, Shella! No, as you know what? <laughs> this ain't Shella. This is Jack. He doesn't know that. Right, right, right. That's fair. He's gonna get. Why are you damning dash. yourself? Why are you damning yourself, Shella? <laughs> And they'll kind of like move up part way, but they're confused on where to go. But they're definitely following towards your footsteps as best they can. Anything else? Yeah. Ah, uh, since he needs them to keep pace, that that's all. Actually, I could use the bonus action to dash, to dash, and then use my action to dodge. I'll do sure. that instead. I'll allow it. Uh, these tads are out there getting winded, so. This time, the guy, like, steadies his aim at you. All right, got to pull out all the shots. You, know, you still got a plus two to AC on this. But a 26 hits, right? Yeah. And this will be with sneak attack. 17 points on that one. Or, yeah, yeah, 17. All right. Following the same example, steady in their aim. They're no longer... Holy hellfire. <laughs> well, Jack, it was oh, nice boy. knowing you. 34 points of damage. As this one just clearly spirals in and it does like that ricochet curve arrow and just stabs you right near the chest. Uh, shit. I shouldn't have broken that thing. It's still yes. alive. I'm gonna get the bounty. I almost got him. No, I'm getting the bounty, you fucker. Getting they're try they're just kind of like fighting over getting the kill now. <laughs> they're gonna see who's gonna be the kill stealer, right? Uh, that guy got knocked the f out. So next one up is this guy right over here. Chink, 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 chink. Uh, he would have to move into an ally spot to even have a chance. Yeah, I'm just gonna have him hold action and shoot you if you come out. Or if anybody comes out. So, yeah, let me give him a blue dot so I can remember he's got a held action. Uh, this guy here, plus two to your AC, but steadying the aim once more, taking examples from his colleagues. Seven or 18. <gasps> Thank, God. Misses, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank God. All right, Jack, you got an arrow uh, very close to your heart. <laughs> yeah. Just barely missing, but it definitely hurts like hell. Okay, well, I still have a good line of sight, and I don't want to go out mm -hmm. there again, so... Mm -hmm. I was going to try to save a spell for Revivify, but uh, well, that's changing you, now. I don't think you can Revivify yourself, so... <laughs> yeah, I was going to save it because I thought, oh, just in case Shella gets herself killed, but... Yeah, I'm going to Fireball again from where I can... Uh, from my position. Alright, go for it. For my own protection. Roll. Roll your damage. Uh I'm gonna add Arcane Firearm. So that's 35. 35 <laughs> on a fail. Right. Hey, this is moving pretty smooth. I like that. And boom. Did it yeah, yeah, it did it. Uh yeah, so the ones that got knocked out unconscious. They let out a sharp scream, and then they die. 
So the ones that were red marked are now officially dead dead. Uh, this one here also kind of like dies and that that leaves two up top and this one yeah three up top I believe. Anything else? All right uh, let's see. I'll, I'll kind of move these guys over so that they're out of the way. Can't see him. Shit. All right I'll shoot uh, this guy here with the force ballista. He gets plus two to AC because the same situation. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Fire yeah. away. Oh, uh, well. 28. Doesn't matter. Yeah, that hits. Uh, 16 force damage and pushed five feet back if he's still alive. Yeah, this one's still hardy. So, yeah, he gets pushed back five feet into his buddy and his buddy pushes him back. Because uh, I don't think you can push him into an ally, right? No. Yeah. So, these guys like, what the hell is your problem? Get the Get out of my way and kind of like shoves him back up. And Jack is now realizing he's in a, a tough spot because he can't exactly. <laughs> There's a door. Yeah. You can always uh, leave. Is it odd? Can I tell from my spot if it's unlocked? Well, you're the one that messed with it. What yeah. Do you think? Well, I mean, like this one oh, here. That is that door, a door? That door. Well, yeah, that's a door too. Yeah. Uh, You don't know. Like, you haven't tried it. You can if you want. Free action if you try it. It's up to you. You got to tell me you're doing it, though. Yeah, I'm going to free action try door. it. It's just a lines painted on a wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you um, open it up, and, it's, and it opens into a coat room. Oh, thank God. I'm going to just go in there and hide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, this sucks. That's going to be my turn. Uh, Arthur, I think I accidentally skipped you. Go for it. He would have. Uh, you know what? Same thing as before. Uh, I'm say trying to keep the kobolds in. Uh... Oh shit. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You want me to paint your picture as you come out? Well, I mean, you haven't yet. So, what do you want to? What do you want to do? Let's 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 talk it out, right? So tell me where you want to move, and then I'll give you all the information you need to decide what to do. This is so going to dash all the way up here. Right. Using his bonus action, because I might need to use my action. All right, these guys are 20 feet up in the air. The only one that was on the ground is already dead. So keep that in mind. Uh, but you are not seen, so this guy cannot take his reaction to shoot you. Uh, they are 20 feet up in the air, but I could say, like, if you wanted to, you could shoot straight between these catwalks. Like, they're definitely graded enough to where you could probably shoot there, but it's going to give them partial cover. Problem is, I don't think Full gave me her longbow, so, uh... Ow. Oh, well, then that changes things, right? Like, I handed it back. I always... Whatever I take it, I give it back. <laughs> okay, that definitely does change things. Uh, okay. And Which I might one have... looks... I might have the timeline here for a minute and see if she gets it back before you do this. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You really can't tell. They're 20 feet up in the air. You can't tell who's hurt. You know that they've been blasted by fire. As you can see, like, dark markings everywhere and flames lit on a few of the bodies on the ground. Okay. You know what? Screw it. As he has a duty to keep these kobolds safe. He's pulling out the bow, knocking one arrow, getting mm -hmm. a second one in hand. So I might have to do an action search. And with advantage. Unseen attacker, yeah. Who are you after? I'm the, the one, one directly up of him. Alright, go for it. Fire away. You'll have a plus two to AC. Twenty-six hits. Twenty-two oh, points sad. of damage. You shoot straight through the hole, and then all of a sudden he kind of like falls to his knees as he feels an arrow in a very peculiar location. I'm not going to describe it too much, but he is definitely wincing in pain and pretty much knocked out unconscious because of it. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and he kind of like collapses there. What's next? Is that the end of your turn? Ah. Uh... Just a few movements. I could action search, but you know what? I'm not gonna. Good. As mm -hmm. he's just. And you are revealed now, right? Yep. As he looks back to the kobolds. Yep. Are and they as still soon... following him? Uh, for the most part, 
Okay, yeah, so they, like, if you were calling them, keep following, keep following, and keep following, then they get to here, and they're kind of like, they see the trouble, and then all of a sudden, you appear, right? Uh, you're in a, go ahead and be in Elizabeth form. I know you're here as somebody else, though. Paulina, yeah. right? So Paulina's kicking some ass today. Uh, so number six is going to fire at you, because you revealed yourself, right? And, yep. Phew, gets a 12, wow. What a shitty pirate. Uh, all right. Oh, then it's hit. Wait, wait, wait. Whose turn was it before? Five. Yeah, five sees you. He's going to fire. Steadying the aim. 28. No matter what I do, I... Well, that's a rapier for starters. Oh, shit. You're right. That is a rapier for starters. Hold on. I grabbed... I thought I clicked the other... They're close to each other. I accidentally clicked the wrong one. How's uh, 21 do? Uh, 21's still going to hit. So we hit you for... 24, and you can uncanny dodge it, I believe. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to have to reaction uncanny dodge. All right, so that'll make it 12. Yep. And then uh, number six turn. Like, yeah, they, they're definitely not moving, so they're going to steady their aims and fire at you. 24. And he gets a whopping 17. That guy is dead Alrighty. and... Jack's hiding in the coat closet. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, is it an action or a bonus action to drink a potion? Bonus action for yourself. Action to apply it to someone else. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to drink a healing potion. Very good. Cool, cool. Oh, by the Which... way, hmm? before we continue, before you you do this, uh, because we did reach a stretch goal for the September, you do have access to four greater healing potions. I want you guys to pick who gets them. And then we'll go from there. Do you want to give one to Jack and Vol, Arthur, and Christopher, or Kronk, or something like that? What do you guys want to do? Jack is, would use it immediately. I don't need it. Have a so we'll, we'll give one to... Alright, so we'll give it to the other. So all the guys get a greater healing potion. And Jack, you can use that instead. Okay, then I'll use that. And right. it's 40 poor, uh, 44 plus 4. I believe so, right. yeah. 44 plus 4. And yeah, we do have hidden September goals, so if we make another 10 subs, uh, we will unlock the next one, which I will reveal when it happens. So only way you're going to know is by doing. All right, so you heal for 15. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm going to pop out, mm -hmm. and I'm going to shoot this guy. Let me just make sure I have line of sight. Yeah. You got yeah. Uh, with a firebolt. Go for it. <clears throat> uh, partial cover because it is a range attack, right? Yeah. All right, but that hits. Twenty-one. Yep. It'll be seventeen, 17 plus. Yeah. What's the other so, four? All Twenty-one. Right. He is hanging on the railing. Weather is like ah, it feels it from behind. Is just kind of like clutching his back, but he's still standing barely. Yeah, and since I can see Arthur now, it's uh, I'm just gonna stay out in the open to give them a second target. All right, bonus action or anything? That bonus action. Oh, do you already use it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. I, I remember now. Arthur, you're back up again. This one up here is looking pretty ragged. So, anyways, Arthur is going to bonus action steady aim, and he's going to aim directly at number six. Ooh. Uh, once I can. Yeah. Let's see it. Figured. Uh, plus two to AC because of the railing beneath them or the yep. grates, but yeah, you got advantage. My yeah, part. that's good. That's gonna get right through it. <laughs> Roll that damage. For Ooh. Twenty-one plus fourteen. That is As what. I quickly figure up the damage from earlier. Thirty-five. I will say this guy here takes it and then kind of like collapse and falls to the ground. Black. <laughs> Oh, hey, nice. Uh, you know what? Uh, we're going to use action surge to immediately flink the other person. Go for it. Yeah, yeah. That Thank hits. You. Yeah, go for it. 11. Oh, and like that, he falls too. I think you guys just cleared out all the guards in here. As he immediately just kind of gets ready to knock a third arrow. Wait, and then puts it back. 
looks at all the other civilians. They all kind of uh, like look term? at you and tear. <laughs> what's up? Uh, what's the term we call this? Uh, emancipation? Emancipation, huh? Uh, so what are you telling him? Oh, that's it for his turn. All right. Uh, Arthur, what are you doing? Like, there's no more Tazareth pirates for me to do. The kobolds will group up on you, though, Arthur. Uh, go ahead there, Jack. Jack is going to, like, walk over and... Um, three, one. Arthur, okay. Uh, not doing so good, but I think I can work with it. I'm gonna... Hey, kobolds! Hey, yeah, 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 what's up? Oh, wow, cool. Yeah. What are you? Yeah. Hmm? Bounty Hunter, look, are those crystals in that back room still? No, sir. Where do they put Pro them? Well, no, Prod took them all with him. Oh, shit. Okay, <laughs> uh... Yeah, shit. Arthur, I got an idea. Uh, I got this arrow in me, and I think it's a good use to play Survivor. And I'm gonna disguise self as the pirate again. And I was like, alright... Y'all go ahead, hold on, and I'm gonna give Arthur the smoke bombs. Just use that if you need to for the kobolds. I'll pretend to be a survivor if it, in case anyone comes looking. You go ahead and I'll follow out shortly. And the rest of them? Fucking bring them with you, I don't know. As he immediately turns to the rest. Right, do y'all want out of here, or do you want to stay here? And yes, go? let's leave! <laughs> yeah. Then be careful, be quiet, and follow me. If we get into any trouble, hide. As you know what, he's going to start leading people out. Okay. Uh, the kobolds, as quietly as they can, start following you, and so do the citizens who are working. I'm going to, I start everyone going out, I'm going to actually take the turret and put it into a bag of holding. Just in case someone comes in and sees the turret. I was like, a better hide might cover better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find a wall to just slump against. Alright, Arthur, what are you doing? Uh, he is leading out the, uh, out the kobolds and the sisms in the factory, and, uh, Shit, without knowing too much about what's going on on the other side. Mm -hmm. Uh, some remind me, was the plan initially to meet up at the uh, stables, or was it to uh, out of character? What? Was it to I meet up at the stables, or to get the hell out of Dodge? Hmm, good question. Did you guys want to meet at the stables after freeing the kobolds? Like, I don't know if we talked about that in character enough. I'll let you guys decide real quick if you want. That that point was entirely dependent on how things flowed. There was there was like a so it's up to there you. was a hanging question mark of whether we would try to get out of dodge, but then toward the end, uh, there was a there was concern about like how things are flowing as far as like whether getting out of dodge was the correct move. All right, so I'll put it to you this way then, Arthur. You have to make a decision. You can choose to go to the stables. You could choose just to run out of the city, or you could choose to do whatever you want at this point. You can abandon these creeps and just try to rejoin your group. Like, I don't know. You could come up with your own ideal. These are just the obvious things that I see that maybe you can work with. So what do you think? As he's going to just sigh, and then immediately turn to Jack. If I'm not with the group, tell my mom my way to Altara. We'll regroup there. And he is going to walk out, and he's going to assess the situation as best oh. as he can. All right. And I think this will be a good time to go on break as I kind of like mentally process the rest of everything that's happening behind the background. And then we'll rejoin with Christopher's group and then see if Kronk and Shell and them kind of like meet back up and check to see how Dory's doing, right? So let's go ahead and take a quick little break. We're going to be about 10, 15 minutes. We are still playing some Stream Raiders. I'll get that battle going as soon as it's ready, so stay tuned.
Hello, hello. We are coming back from break. Left you with our lovely battle music for the break. Uh, keep playing some Stream Raiders with us. We'll be with you on that one for sure. And then, uh, so, let's see here. Arthur is leading out a bunch of kobolds and citizens. Arthur, give me a perception check as you're making this getaway for everybody. And then I'm going to switch over to the other group. Of course, that's why I have my keyboard. Um... Sorry, I was just about done. I just needed to finish up. <laughs> uh, 18. Yeah, you uh, just see that you're successfully getting everybody out safe and sound. Anything else seems to fall under your detection if there's anything further than that. Uh, I guess if... Uh... Let's see how this goes first, because if it's going smoothly, he's going to take him to the stables. If it's not going smoothly, uh, they're getting out. All right. Yeah, yeah. So you're coming out to assess, too. Yeah. So I guess I should give you some further information in that regard. I was checking for something else. Uh, there does seem to be a dispersing of both common folk who are rushing down towards the docks to see what's going on the common folk that you let out and then all of a sudden they're seeing it as well and they're kind of like heading into the town to see what's happening uh you could definitely see some of the tazarath heavier men just kind of like rushing down the street uh but as far as like the attention on the factory itself like the guards that were originally posted out front ran to the south or wherever to check on things so you think right now you're the distraction it seems to be working. As he's going to turn to the citizens, he's going to kind of say, okay, okay quick, do you want out to the city or do you want to go down there and see if everything's we, all right? We live here. We can't leave this place. This is our home. Most of them kind of like chime in with that. Yeah, we can't leave. This is our home. So he just kind of sighs. I mean, uh, you can uh, also right. is... you can also hold here for now and see how the other party does first, because they might re meet up with you. You want to hold off for a minute and see what happens to them, because I got to catch up the timeline basically. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. Let's see if you still have a longbow. <laughs> so, all right. So, where is Christopher and? full at this moment as everything starts out right like where are you when Kronk leaves to go after Shella so right they've now headed over to the factory so Kronk is going to check in with Shella so then he's going to look for to Vol so I suppose then our task will be to to keep track of Tazarath's movements and maybe keep uh, keep an eye on any key players I think that's the best plan we have. And if we see anyone that we know, or they know us, well, then we kind of know that everybody's got to run, right? Just looking around. Well, there seems to be a lot of running already as mm. time starts moving forward. Uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, as you, like, Kronk is slowly starting to head back, I think, at this time. Are you in, in the tavern or outside watching everything? Like, that's, I need to figure out where the visual uh, is, okay. where you guys so are. Okay, so before heading out of the tavern, right. uh, Christopher would look to the uh, the innkeeper. So, where would, the, where would the common folk go for safety? I feel as though they should probably start heading there, just in case. Uh, I mean, we had a town hall at one point, but got turned into a club. Uh, of course it did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christopher was going to think, if you can encourage, if it wouldn't be so much of a bother, could you possibly allow for others to take residence here for the time being, if yeah. they should be here? Oh, yeah, you could send them this way. I'll definitely make sure we're all kind of packed in here. At least we'll have a place to, to congregate to make sure everybody's safe. Yeah, we could definitely do that. Yeah. Let us make everybody comfortable. Pulls out three bottles of wine and just put them on the table for us. <laughs> I, I, yeah, okay. And <laughs> just, I guess I should go get the cups ready. All right. And yeah, what do you guys want to do next? And then now Christopher will start exiting the 
exiting the tavern in. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess I have to ask Croc this, right? Like, was Croc going to check on Shella at Croc speed, or at I need to really get down there and see what the hell's happening speed? Uh, just Croc speed. All right, so Croc is barely making his way back. So he's at the end of the street, but you can see, like, bodies thrown everywhere. And it takes a while, but him and Shella are slowly gliding their way back towards you as you guys are at this end. Like, you guys are at this end of the street, right? And Croc is slowly making his way up the street with Shella and Prod in tow. And yeah, takes a moment. And Croc gets back with Shella, Prod, and they all kind of like look at you. And you can hear cackling in the distance of Dorian who is still using up the wand. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, hold on, Krog, you're going too fast for one. No, you're not. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, what do you guys do as soon as you are regrouped? Well, that kind of leads us to our question. Mm -hmm. Before uh, Krog got back, do we see anything at all or, or not? Nah? Uh, make perception checks. I suppose that's what we need to do. You got me one there too, Christopher. Oh, sorry, give me a second. As a, yeah, you're as fine. Apparently, apparently, uh, it wanted to close my character sheet for some reason. Shame on him. <laughs> Take your time there. We'll get there. <laughs> Christopher, don't see shite. Okay, that's fair. And there's my disadvantage rolled out of the way. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, yeah, Volt, I guess with the one with the better perception here, you can make out more Tazareth pirates starting to make their way from the club itself. And they seem to be just investigating the streets at first and then hearing the loud kabooms off to the south or west end. They seem to be alerted by that and they start making their way... Um, not exactly down the street that you're on. Like, they come out... How should I put this? Here, how can I show you this? Like, they're coming out this way, and then they're trying to, like, go through the neighborhood to get there. You know what I mean? Like, they're definitely the kids that are crossing through the backyard to get home quickly. So, in other words, Bull's just gonna look at the group and be like, based off what I saw, they were heading away. So we head to the stables. Grab the carriage, I drive it, and then we just go full blast on that. Uh, that is one possibility, but after giving consideration, we do need to be thinking about uh, what the state of the town will be and what, if we leave just now. We need to figure out what Tazrath is going to be doing. If we can ensure that they're at least abandoning the town, then that might offer some time for, for later for reinforcements, but... If they you plan need to me stay, to blow then something leaving up? this town no better than when we entered it. Should we then follow them? To, uh, just to be safe. And we'll, we'll supposedly act as, uh... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, concerned citizens? Oh, okay. Oh, uh, shit, when did you get back? <laughs> oh, uh, Gronk's right here. He caught us down there at the inn. How have you been? Almost like nothing happened, right? <laughs> so, Shella, you were kidnapped. <laughs> Was I? Was I really? Well, now that we have Shella. Oh, you could ask Gronk. me that, huh? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Croc, what do you say? I, I didn't hear the question as well. No, 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 what were you saying, Croc? You, yeah, you're about to say something. <laughs> yeah, we kept cutting you off on accident. Oh, Chilla just asked how it was. <laughs> Croc just said he was, he's been okay. Oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> 
Oh, Shella, you know, now that you're here, mm -hmm. so, so okay, could you tell me a little bit more about the kobolds? Were they collected from all over, or did they come from the same clutch? They were definitely different clutch, weren't they, Prod? Yes, yes, they seem to have picked me up as well, along with several others from different areas. Uh, fine, fine fellows, but not not worth uh, keeping here. They, they, they definitely some weird, strange things that they were trying to make us do. And he pulls out a bag and he cuts these red rocks that he's been working on. They, they, they made us make these and he holds it for a moment, but he puts it back down quickly like it's hot. Ah, that's hot. So could you, could you tell me what, is it possible for you to tell me why they were uh, having kobolds specifically make these things? Ah, uh, I guess they thought we were easy to catch, huh, Prod? Yes, it seems some of these clutches were very ill-prepared for Tazerath attacks. I, unfortunately, got on the wrong ship. <laughs> oh, I sort of figured. <laughs> I did scry on you, apologies. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I made it out pretty well. Well, until I, yeah, made it out. I'm just glad you're okay, Prod. Although now, rather, the question is, like, uh, what are we going to do with all those kobolds? Here's what we could do. Oh, yes, we need to go back and open the door for them. I mean, the door is open, but they're waiting for me to come back. I well, figured I'd dimension door, start a diversion, and then I'd make it back, but then I saw Croc. <laughs> Sorry, Mo, go ahead. <laughs> I was just gonna be like, well, Shella, I don't think you could come with us to check out Tazerac. They were chasing you down, right? Oh, I dare them. I was just gonna say, why don't you just go... Meet the rest of the group at the stables. They might have freed your friends already since they headed there. She blinks. What do you mean someone freed my friends? Arthur and Jack went Narrow straight eyes. to the... I have to go! Set, the, set them ahead and join the commotion. Yes! Yes! I need to go now! <laughs> Wait, where are you going, Shella? And Prod kind of like follows after her. I have to Prod. go meet an old friend. We make sure that Shella gets there safe. Of course I will. Kronk will go with Shella. Shella's going to the factory. Is there anything you guys want to do in this case? So, I hate right, to break it to you, making our way to the docks to get a firmer grasp of the situation. Lead the way. Oh, actually, I'll lead the way. Kind of strides forward. Ah, yes, that famous song that I keep hearing every now and then. Don't split the party. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so there's a lot happening, right? So, I guess for a moment, we follow Christopher and... Vol down to the docks, right? Like, you're going down there. You're not suspicious whatsoever. Any party that would make you suspicious is no longer with you. Uh, what would you guys like to attempt to achieve here as we kind of assault this situation from a vantage point? Uh, like I said, I, like, uh, how are the docks looking as we move, make our way there? It's like... They uh, are... I mean, the docks themselves are fine. It's just the ships in the port are on fire, and you can see people trying to use uh, bows, shooting at something in the air. Like, there's a few Tazarith pirates trying to take pot shots at Dorian, but Dorian seems to be just out of their reach. Uh, you get a message in your head. Hey, boss, this damn wand quit working. Oh, that just means it's run out of uses. You can go ahead and make your retreat now. You want this thing back, or is it broken? It's not broken, it's just out of uses. Does it break if it's out of uses? Or have a chance? Mm. 
Ooh, I'm no. gonna. I'm now going to make the roll. All right. Uh, let's see where are you? There is the D20. It does not break. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah. So too, he's too stacked. close, though. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If we only had that disadvantage roll on that, huh? No. <laughs> So yeah, he brings the one back, or he will in time. Like right now, he's scouting away from these pirates and then trying to find a good moment to go invisible. Uh, what's next for you two? Like, they, yeah, they, they're looking for a shot, but they don't see it anymore. Um, let's see. I guess from there, are there any other, are there any other Tazareth like a uh, like, especially as we were making our way toward the docks, like, uh, were, were more Tazareth moving toward the toward the ships or away? Yeah, they were moving towards, uh, like, you might see them cutting out of this here pathway, kind of like catching up with the others. So there's about six or seven of them at the docks trying to shoot at the air at the moment because they lost track of Dorian. Just out of curiosity, Star, will you draw all the fire spots? I know she'll lit some places on fire, too. Uh, let me see what I got here. I could probably put some fire markings down. Uh, let's see here. I know one's in the fields. Where is it? There's my animated spells. No, we never touched the fields. Yeah, we did. We didn't. We didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Did we? I don't remember yeah. sitting anywhere. Shella didn't go anywhere. She was with Kronk. Hold on, that one's probably out of line. This one. I I'm gonna I'm gonna support Star on this one. Uh, Shella was entirely at the docks, and we decided oh, to thought... start targeting the ships since oh, I thought there was already a distraction. Oh, I thought that during when Dory was saying like someone already lit the fields. No, no, no. It was the ships. Ah, okay. Never you mind. might have misheard me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So there's where the main fires are and. They are definitely hardy. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, too. <laughs> well, if they were leaving, they would leave from this direction, would they? So, no, they would start. They would probably move to all the, uh, the untouched dogs. Uh, if your you're. Are you guys close enough to the docks to maybe make another perception check? Like, are you all the way at the end of the street, or did you approach, like, kind of like, show me where you're going to be here on the map? Within a vicinity, like, if you're right at the docks, just say that, that as well. Oh, uh, we would have been around at the docks, because, like, it's not going to be too hard to, like, move from one dock to the next if we're moving right, along right. the coast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you definitely see that it's lit up around here, and... You also look out into the uh, ocean waters and you can see like uh, several dinghies that are like floating away from these ships that are burning down with people on them. Uh, most of them seem to be going away from the shore towards this bigger boat that's out on the uh, outskirts. If that helps you out with anything. So like I guess as we're making our way towards that way. specific dock, uh, like uh, I, I am wondering about how far it is out. Uh, we're probably looking about 400 feet away from the dock. All right, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, so, all right, they are well and good in the sea. They won't be a problem. But then as long as they all start making their way in this direction, they do seem to be abandoning the area. Very true. Then, should we go follow the group, or should we just investigate a bit more before we go? So, Christopher thinking... Uh. As much as I would like to investigate this place further, the safety of the townsfolk, as well as securing the rest of the city, takes pr priority. So uh, let's start making our way. Let's start making our way toward the club to see if it's been fully emptied out. Let's do that. 
pull kind of just head, head to that direction. Wow, oh, I almost caught there! <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Sorry, I'm just kind of like reading over something real okay. quick on your thing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got quiet there. My apologies. I was just making sure I was going to be on the right character backstory when I go through with this. Because, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Sorry. So, as... So what's full in Christopher's intention at this point? Just to uh, hang back and investigate the club now? Is that right? Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to double back uh, toward the club since it does seem like uh, Tazrath is making their making their exit on the only viable ship left. <laughs> right. Or at least one uh, of the only viable ones left. All right, so let me check back in with uh, Arthur and Jack real quick then. Arthur, you see Kronk, obviously. And then you see two little kobolds followed with him. Or actually leading him. <laughs> One of them, Shella. And she has this fiery rock that's floating above her hands, and she seems to stare directly in your direction. <laughs> Even though you're dressed up as somebody else. Uh, are there other kobolds around? Uh, a few of them, yeah. Like, well, they don't... Uh, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. I think I see where you're going. As he immediately turns them. Well, I'm going to give you this advice. Please scatter away from me. As, uh... Huh? <laughs> oh, and don't follow, please. Not until I can defuse this. As, uh... <laughs> he immediately... I'm going to do a dumb. Uh-huh. And Arthur is going to immediately... Just charge forward at Shella. Well, not charge forward, but he is going to. No weapons out, just start running. Start dashing and, towards her? Alright. Yeah. If he comes into contact, he's going to slide and just give her a hug. Like, oh, oh, thank God you're okay. You're okay. Please never set me on fire again. Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> Please let this work. Oh my god, that is so sweet of you. I'll have to be nice about this for a moment. How dare you! Arthur, what the hell are you doing to me? Nope, nope. <laughs> Rerolling. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I'll give you a moment. <laughs> Prepare your funeral. I mean... Let's make sure it's proper. Well, what's with giving you a 1 and a 2? Hmm, let's see if you can get a 3. Please, God, don't give me a 3. Give me like a 20. Yeah, give him a good one, you guys. I like this. Boom, you got it. Nat 20. Close enough. Uh... It gave me one. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, she kind of like holds her hand up in the air, frozen in place. She stunned her, pretty much. And then underneath her breath, almost like there's a part of her that's hidden. Like, she says, Arthur, get away. I can't control this emotion. I don't know why, but I can't stop it. And you can feel her trembling under your grasp, but for now she's trying to be responsible and try to tell you to leave. As uh, apparently you've given her enough emotional trauma to be stunned to continue killing you. That was not a dumb, that was sweet. Hey Jack, how's it going? Do I see this happening? No, you're inside. This is okay. all outside. Yep. Alright. Uh, he's gonna look around and... He's going to... Try to... I guess he would try to find... Um, someplace inside that maybe looks important. 
mm -hmm. like uh, Triumph Windor, he's gonna play the the hurt act in case someone comes in. Like he's gonna keep an a uh, hand right like, right next to the arrow that nearly hit his heart, and he's gonna just like slump near the wall, probably like heading this way towards like some of the bodies and try to get like uh, if there's a door over here. Yeah, there's a door. Try to like, yeah, he's get over here and stumble a little bit and constantly look around. Yeah, you feel like this place is kind of empty at the moment, aside from the burned bodies. Yeah. It's just the fact that he he, do he doesn't want to be, oh, look at me, I'm fine, and then some the people rush in. Right. So he's going to go in here. Oh, he's going to try the door. Yeah, it opens. All right. And he's basically... Yeah, as you kind of like wander in here, you see like a supply room of parts, bolts, scrap metal, uh, framing, particular uh, pieces that go on like uh, whatever they got out there to kind of like attach. It's just like a basic warehouse or a factory working facility type stuff. Like tool sets and stuff like that. Yeah. Fabrication type of modeling and stuff like that. All right, then he's gonna wander back out, uh, wanting to figure out what else is in the place. Oh, you uh, got a moment. Two I'm kinda... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then he's gonna. You want know screw it? He's gonna look through uh, this one dead pirate here, uh, or which one of one is on the ground, mm -hmm. and just kind of look through him for any loot or uh, anything important. Give me an investigation. Eighteen. Find a very nice short short bow that they use. All right, I'll I'll shove that in a bag of holding. And a, a couple of daggers. All right. I'll shove those in there. Coin purse with about three hundred gold pieces. Definitely taking that. And, uh, I might have an arrow for you, too. Hold on. Does a... 18 hit? Yep. That hits. You take... I hate to say this to you, but you get knocked out. You oh, take, fuck. Uh, you take, you take, forty nine points of damage. Ow. As okay, so let me let me paint the picture for you. As you're going through this corpse, you can hear some mechanical noise, and then like your ears are like catching it for a quick moment. But all of a sudden, there's a searing noise that kind of like hits the air, and then right as soon as this arrow hits you, it combusts and blows up on top of you, and you're now unconscious. Okay. And you lose concentration automatically, right? Yep. Concentration on... Oh, well, he's got the hat of disguise on, right? Oh, that's... Yeah. That's, a... that's not a concentration. Yeah, no, 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 it's not. A... Yeah, so okay. the question is, does the hat fall off, I guess, or something, huh? I'm just saying he's unconscious at this moment. All right, nope, that's where you're Thank at you. at the moment. <laughs> Maybe as you're fading out, and I will have you make death saves, you can yeah. hear this mechanical noise kind of like retract again. And you can go ahead and make your first death save. Shit. You can hear walking coming closer and closer as you're kind of like in this daze, right? Go ahead and give me your second one. Oh, fuck. I mean, you can roll with advantage. Do you want to do that? Yeah. <laughs> um, good. Can I? Can yeah. You can, can you, can, oh, can I you... don't have enough cookie clusters. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, Christopher is just going to slide into Jack's DMs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are 
You got this? Yeah, I'm... I mean, I'll, I'll never say the number to anybody, but I'm rich, so... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go for it, bud. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I was just waiting for an action that would kind of be sketch. And you did it. <laughs> so, uh. That's fine. Uh, Jack, go ahead and try to reroll that death save. Let's not get another natural one, all right? No, that's, okay. that's an eight. Okay, so your two death fails. And, like, out of the daze of your eye, you can't answer, you can't say anything in this moment, but you can see the uh, approach of a familiar figure as Kinnon kind of, like, comes out of the shadows and just kind of, like, bends down and looks at you, and it's awfully sketch what you were trying to do there, my friend. And go ahead and make that death save again. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And he starts searching through your body. Mm. Go ahead and make another death save. Oh, oh wow. well. <laughs> All right, Jack, you re you you blink for a moment. You come back to your senses at one HP, and then you see Kitten rifling through your stuff. It's your turn. What do you want to do? Is my wand still in my hand? Sure. Oh, I know, Vol, I gave my smoke bomb to <laughs> Arthur, because he had the kobolds with him. Yeah, that's that's the thing about plans, right? Like, we never stick to them, right? <laughs> yeah. What can I do? Can't believe you survived that. Yeah, well, I'm a tricky bastard, and I cast invisibility. All right. Doesn't doesn't prevent him from listening for you. No. Nope. So what do you do? And I'm I'm gonna try to sneak away, like stealthily move away from him. All right. So he will roll an attack against you as you try to move away at disadvantage. Yeah. But he is definitely listening for you. He's like, oh, you are a tricky one, aren't you? And then he'll just sh try to shove a rapier at you. I get a 23 to hit. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh. A, shield, a shield would not help. It oh, would no. match. Yeah. Uh, like it's a rapier, guys. I have the thing on still. I, I thought I turned it off, but it didn't go off. So, yeah, it's still a 23, though. It would have been a natural 20, but... <laughs> no. Aha! <Okay>. Gotcha. <laughs> and you're revealed again. Yeah. Oh, Jack. Yep, new death saves, though. Congratulations on that. So go ahead and make your first one. Ah, what the hell, eight? Actually, hmm. Oh, man. Jack. Yeah. I know. This, this sucks. Oh, I get a 15. <laughs> Does that what? hit? I get a 15 on oh. an attack against you. Does that hit? No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right, make another death save. Wow, that's okay. That's yeah, this is terrible. I mean, eventually he's gonna hit you, right? Eventually. Yeah, we get a 28 this time. Yeah. And there we go, right through the heart. And now that he has leisure time to go through your things, remove the lovely hat that you have on, mm -hmm. revealing Jack, like in a spit of blood, like I would say, like, what is the last thing you say to Kid as he kind of like looks at you in disbelief, like, oh, it was you. <laughs> oh, Kenan. You just unleashed wrath upon this world. <laughs> and Jack is going to die with a smile. Uh, well, I guess we fade to black there, right? 
Arthur, as Shella kind of like comes to grips with herself for a moment. You notice Jack is still not making his way out. What do you have heard? Uh, what happened? Uh, you wouldn't have heard none of that. Uh, well, actually, you might have heard a brisk bang, but then again, give me a perception check, because if you're low on this perception, you're probably assuming it came from a different direction, or, you know, because there's a lot of explosions happening on the other end, right? Because Dorian yep. was having fun. Let's just, yep. Yeah. Not sure. Kronk is there with you too, by the way. So if Kronk wants to make it as well, 